Here in Massachusetts, the return of travelers has made testing lines around the state even longer. More tonight from WBZ's Paul Burton. Test before? Yep. All right, you can go ahead and lower your mask under your nose, covering your mouth with your mask. Post the Thanksgiving Day holiday weekend, a sea of cars lined up as folks get tested for COVID-19 in Revere. We had a few people over that were in close, where it's like our mother and stuff like that that we're in contact with anyways, but just to be safe. The Stop the Spread testing site at Revere High School parking lot remained busy for most of the day. The Revere Board of Health is advising residents who gathered with people outside their household on Thanksgiving to isolate, test, and monitor for symptoms in the 14 days following the holiday to reduce further spread of the virus. Yasmin came today with her grandmother, who's trying to fly back to El Salvador, but keeps getting delayed. It's been kind of stressful. My grandma has been trying to fly out, and just with the whole kind of holiday stuff going on, it's just finding places that are kind of open and stuff and then the long lines and everything and just some tests coming inconclusive and stuff but you know it's part of the process. All set for results one to three days. Robert McKenzie just flew in from out of town and is abiding by the safety guidelines. Yeah I went out of town I didn't I, I don't think I did anything that would get me in trouble but you know I don't want to go back to work and stuff until I'm, I'm positive. A lot of these residents had to wait about an hour in line to be tested but did not complain. I live in the area and I haven't been tested in a while. It's just crazy because it's it's really out there. I lost my grandpa to it. In the span of about four hours, city and health officials administered 600 COVID-19 tests to individuals. Testing will continue here throughout the week from 3 p.m. to 8 p.m. In Revere, I'm Paul Burton, WBC News.